Hi everybody, this is Ellen. In this tutorial we're going to make a happy cauliflower. It's kind of like the head, the whole cauliflower. Comes with little leaves on the side. They're so cute. So I think it's adorable. And then I know that a lot of people made a cauliflower by changing the color of my broccoli into just white, which is cool too, but this one is a little bit different, so I love it. Um, Band-wise, the white portion is 208 bands. Green bands were 242. Um, and then for the white part, they are wrapped bands, so we do need 35 of them. So a little bit of prep work involved with that. And then, um, other than that, we'll get started with what you need to have. So first, the wrap bands, they are just two bands wrapped and pulled onto two other bands. Um, I guess I should say too, as you can see that I'm using a purple color here. Um, cauliflower comes in lots of different colors actually. Um, I've had them all, they're pretty delicious, they all taste fairly similar. Um, obviously it comes in white, but it also comes in purple, a light green, and a light orange color. So you can use those different colors too if you don't have enough white or want to get use some of the other bands that you have. So I thought I'd show you that real quick. But wrap bands, it's just one band on your hook, wrapped around once to figure eight, grab both bands, wrap them around again, then you want to take another band and do the same thing, and then pull through two bands, that are, through the bands that are on your hook, like that. So you need 35 of these before you're finished. Um, if you have the latch hook, which, where'd my other one go? If you have a latch hook, that would be most helpful to in making these. So um, they're found at lots of different stores. Walmart has them. You can look up for them online called Rug Latch Hook, and you should be able to find it there. But, so 35 wrap bands. You'll need cheeks, which are just whatever color you want the cheek to be on the hook, doubled up again. Same way as the other, and then you just pull through two bands. So you need two cheeks. And then for your eyes, I'm going to use the 9mm pony beads for mine, so I'll just put my bands through when we get there. If you don't have beads, you can use bands. If you use one band, the eye is smaller. If you use two bands, you get one that's roughly about the size of the 9mm ones. But you just take both bands, put them on your hook, wrap them around into the figure eight, then grab all four bands, wrap them around again, and then pull them through, pull through two bands. So that would be your eye. So you want two eyes, however you want to do that. So you want to do your prep work first and then come back to watch the rest of this. And then when you're ready to go, you have one loom wrong end towards yourself. And we'll start with in the center of the loom, so right around the seventh pin up or so, we're going to do a starburst. It's two bands for now. We do change to one band later on, so I'll make sure to point that out, but two bands. And just from the center pin, go out to the six pins around. Doesn't really matter where you start. I make my fingers work like that then you want two bands for a cat band in the center so we'll wrap around three times so one two and three then you'll take your hook go in through the cat band grab the top two bands wherever they are and then not those two bands First my fingers don't want to work and now my hook doesn't want to work. Should be interesting. There we go. Then you just go around and keep grabbing the top two wherever they are and pulling them back towards themselves. Now for the next portion we want to add some wrap bands onto our starburst here. 
So I'm going to use my latch hook to put them on, but it's the same thing if you use the rainbow loom hook. You're just going to put your bands on your hook, like we did before, with the wrap bands. Then you'll grab the top two bands with your hook, pull them up, slide down your two bands for this pin, and then put them back on. And you'll do that all the way around. Just pick up the top two, slide on two rack bands, put it back on. I think it's a little easier doing it this way than trying to pull the bands around and but latch hook, very helpful. want to start with your wrapped bands. We're going to do a row all the way around with the wrapped bands. Just pull them out, put them on. Make sure when you're putting the wrap bands on that you get both bands onto the pin because sometimes if you just get one band on it looks like you have both bands on because it'll kind of holds together with the wrap bands. So let's make sure that you do have all the bands on. Then we'll go and we'll flip the bottom four bands all the way around. Now we're going to increase. So I'm going to start over here on the right side. For this one right here on the bottom, I have to pick up all four bands, bring them down, and then bring the top two back. And the reason why is because I don't want the bands to cross right here. It's harder to tell with the wrap bands, but you'll see that the band that's on this lower pin comes around to the center pin right here. And this band up here comes around to the top pin up here. So we don't want any crossing. Up here on this one above, I can just take the top two bands. You can see how they're not, they don't cross over. I can just pick those up and bring them up. Then on the other side, again, I have to pick up all four bands right here. If I didn't, this band is actually coming from this pin. And if I bring it up here, it crosses over this one. And we don't want that. So that's why we pick up all four bring them up a pin, and then we can bring the top two back so there's no crossing. And right here, I can just pick up the top two, bring them down. For the center pins, just pick up the top two bands, see which side they're coming from. These are coming from the left, so I'm just going to pull them over to the left. And then these are coming from the right, so they'll go to the right. Now I'll do the same thing on the top center. Just pick up the top two. Whatever side they're coming from, they're going to go to that side. And over on the other side as well. So now we're on 12 pins with two bands on every pin. So now we're going to do our eye rows. So you want your eyes. So we have a wrap band right here at the bottom. Another wrap band. Then we have an eye. Then in the next spot is just two bands. Then another eye.
and then it'll be wrap bands around the rest. That's why we make extra. Because I hope I have extra. like that. So then all the way around you're going to flip the bottom two bands. We just had our fair, or a, one of the fairs in our area. And whenever we go, I always have the, have a little bit of fried cauliflower. I never thought I would like it, but I actually think it's pretty delicious. It's probably just because it's fried. So push those down. Our next row is going to be our cheek row, and it's going to be kind of a half row. So we're going to start down here with wrap band. And another wrap band. And cheeks. And in the middle it'll be two bands, and cheeks, and the next two spots will be wrap bands. Like that. So just on the, the front and then the kind of sides here. So when we flip, we're only going to flip the pins on the face side. So you'll flip the bottom four. Like that. Push them down. And we need to put our mouth on. So whatever color you want the mouth to be. I'm going to put it on my hook and double it. I'll take it off and hold it there. I'm going to stick my hook in through the bands that are on the pin by the left eye. Grab the mouth band, pull it up through and up over the top of the pin. Then I'll pull it down so it's around the bottom of the pin. And I'll go in through the bands that are by the right eye. Hook the mouth band, pull it over, up over the top of pin of the pin. Pull it down, so I'm wrapped around the bottom of two pins, and then I'll flip it back up over the top. Like that. So now we're going to do another half row. So again, just along the bottom, up the front side, and then up at the top here. With the wrapped bands. But when we get to here, we just want to have the two bands. So wrap band, wrap band, and then just two bands by the face. Sorry about that. And then wrap band, wrap band. I was thinking about the cauliflower at the fair. <laughs> Distracted myself. So I like that. Then once again, we're only going to flip the bands on the front side, so the bottom four. Tastes good with ranch dressing. I was actually thinking that we like to fry everything around here. In our area, I guess. Fry Oreos. I've never had one, but I just, you know. 
Our next row is going to go all the way around and it's going to be wrap bands. So it's all wrapped this time. And all the way around. Today is also National Mustard Day. So we have a the Silver Springs Mustard Factory, I guess, is in the town where I live and they had a big celebration with all the different kinds of mustards and they had inflatable rides for the kids and they had brats and hamburgers and stuff that you could come and taste the mustards on them, see what they if you like them or not. It's kind of weird. I guess, but you got a free bottle of mustard, so it worked out alright. Also, where my by where my in-laws live, they have the National Mustard Museum. <laughs> so I guess we just kind of live by lots of mustard. I'm sure they probably had a celebration too. So like that, wrap bands all the way around. So on the back side here, on the corner pins, you're going to have the four bands that are from the half rows that we did. So those are going to go over and then you have the four bands from the bottom row to go over. And the middle ones will just have four bands to go over. And again, there's four from the half rows, and then four from the bottom rows. Front side is just the bottom four all the way. Now it looks like I only made one extra wrap band, so but I made it. So now I'm going to kind of puff this up, pull it out, so it's not stuck in there quite so much. Push everything down. So now we are ready to go on to our wrap around leaves. So first we're going to puff all of our pins and by puffing we're just going to take two bands that are the color that you want to use for the bottom portion here. Take your hook, go in through the bands that are on the pin, grab those two bands, pull them up through, put both ends on your hook, and then you take off the ones that are on the pin and then you put the ones on your hook back onto the pin like that. And you'll do that for every pin. So in through, pull up, both ends on, take them off, put them back on. I think I'm taking my kids to another fair. This one is, I don't think they have rides. It's kind of more 4-H based, so a lot more animals. and um, I think they're supposed to have inflatables and face painting and stuff, so I'm sure they'll find that very fun. My kids love the inflatables. I'm still my two-year-old she loves them and I'm always just kind of waiting for her to not be able to do them because it does involve quite a bit of kind of climbing and um, some of them they have the little rubbery ladders up them and I'm always like I don't know if she'll be able to get up over the top of it but she surprises me every time by just plowing right up there. I'm like holy wow kid. And then it's bad because my, my four year old he's not He's not a tall guy yet. He's my little munchkin and I'm always worried that he'll have a hard time because of that. So, But he surprises me as well every time. It's right up there. So like that. We have them all puffed out. So you're going to want to push these down as far as you can. 
because now we're going to make the little leaf portion that comes around. And this is where we're going to go single banded. It's going to be very weird if you do a lot of the happy foods, um, but just single banded. So we're going to go all the way around with an X row first. So it's just taking the one band, putting it on, and twisting it as you put it on. So remember, one band. I'm hoping the kids will let them paint their faces. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. A lot of the times it depends on who's doing it and how friendly and kind of patient they are. I just think it's so cute when they do. Last time my little guy was a zebra and then of course the littlest one was a princess. Then we're going to go all the way around with the one band again just normally. Right on top of what we did before. My older one was a was Batman. And of course the oldest was like, nope, not happening. I kind of secretly wanted them to paint my face too, but I thought that I'd get looks. <laughs> so like that. So now when we flip, we're going to, for quite a while here, ignore these bottom four bands that we did for the puffing. So we're just going to ignore those. Now when we flip, you're going to grab the middle two bands that are actually the X row or the cross row that we put on, and those are going to go over the top. Just go ahead and grab those middle two bands and pull those up over the top. I wanted to be a princess with a little jewel between my eyes. It's been cute. It's kind of sad in a way that like once you grow up you're expected not to do certain things because then people kind of look at you funny. But who knows? Tomorrow's another chance. I might just be that princess yet. So like that. Push that down. So now we're going to do a half row. And the half row for this one. So come and we'll start up here in the second spot down. Still the one band. And we're going to come around all the way around the back side and then come up and stop here at the second one on the bottom. So one band still. Across the bottom and then up two. Like that. So then when we flip when we flip on the half rows like we did before, we don't flip where we end or where we start. So we don't flip, we're not going to flip these two pins, but all the rest of them we're going to flip the middle four bands again, or middle two bands again, sorry. So find those middle two bands and those are going to go over. You always kind of want to check every once in a while to make sure you still have the four bands below that we're ignoring for now. Because sometimes, I think I grab them just because I'm used to the doing four bands. So like that. Didn't flip right here. We flipped all the way around the rest. Now we're going to do another half row right on top of the one we did just did. So again I'm going to start up here the one band. The yucky band. It's so weird using one band. So like that. Same thing as before. And we'll flip the same th way as before. We're not going to flip the middle ones right here. But we are going to flip the other ones, the middle two.
like that. Again, just checking to make sure that I have all the four bands below. Push those down. Then we're going to do a row all the way around with the one band. And I'm just starting the bottom like normal. Or like usual, I suppose. Be. Just maybe it's not normal. like that we went all the way around so first on the back side here it's the same thing the middle two bands are going to go over then on the front side middle two middle two and for these two middle pins you're going to have Two bands. Trying to get the get them here the best way. Two bands from the half rows to go over, and then the middle two from the row way back. So it should look just like the other pins when you're done flipping. So two from the half rows, and the middle two, and then the middle two on the last ones. Like that. Push down, push everything down, and then we want to start to make this, the leafy part, kind of come up over the top of the pins, because otherwise they end up getting squished on the side. So you want to kind of pull it up, but be careful as you do, because they will want to come off the pins. Just kind of get it up a little bit. Kind of like that. Tuck these in. Because it gets squishy as we go along. Not as bad as some things I've made, but... Like that. Just pulled it up a little bit. Push those down again. So we're going to do another half row set. Half row, half row, full row again. This time we're going to start just at the last spot. On this side, come all the way around and then stop right here. Single band still. So like that, no bands right here. So we won't be flipping these two pins then. So just here on the corner, middle two bands, all down the back side, middle two bands. And then the other corner in the front. Like that. Push those down. Do the same thing again, starting up here, one band, then come all the way around. And stop right here. Flipping the same, don't flip these ones, but flip the other, the corners. Then the two on the back. And the other corner. So it looks like that now. Push down. So now we're going to do a row all the way around with the one band still. Like 
that. So all along the back side, it's going to be flipping the middle too. And the front side, the corners too. And then again, this pin will have the two from the half row. And then the next two down. And the next three, or next two pins, will have the middle two. And again, we have the one that has the two from the half row. the two from below. Thought I counted an extra band in there. I had to check. Like that. Just checking my puffing bands again. So once again, we kind of want to pull up our leaf towards the center. carefully push your bands down all right so now what we need to do is the the two bands that we have here we need to kind of wrap them around the bands that are below so what we're going to do to go in through the top two you'll grab those four bands from our puffing bands pull those up through the two slide the two off the pin, and then put them back on. You're going to do that for all of them. So through the top two, grab the bottom four, pull them up, slide those top two off, and then put the bottom four back on the pin. You want to do that all the way around. Turn your loom any which way you want to make it easier. This part I think is like the last annoying part of making this, but which is good. Everything should kind of just kind of poof up now. You probably want to try and grab your cauliflower and make sure that's unstuck as well this time. So push your bands all the way down again. So now I'm going to do the second little leaf here. It's not quite as big as the other one. But once again, all the way around, we're going to do an X row or cross row with one band. There's our X row. So you want to push that down a little bit. 
And then right on top, we're going to do a regular row with one band still. that. Again, flip the middle two bands, ignoring the bottom four, just getting those two. Push those down. So now we're going to do the two half rows. This time I'm going to start on the second spot down over here on the right. One band still. Come up, over, down two, skip a spot. here. We'll come around and stop right here. So there's no bands right here in the middle. So that means we will not flip these four pins when we do our flipping. So down here, just the middle two bands. not flipping these two. Then down here, only flipping the four on the bottom. Like that. Push those down. Then we'll do the same band layout again. So a single band Upside down U over here. And then around the other side. Like that. Flip the same pins, skipping the middle two. Push your bands down. So now we're going to do a row all the way around. It's actually going to be two rows all the way around with a single band. This will be our first row. like that all the way around on the back side and on the front side to be the same so it'd be two two and in the middle two pins here you're going to have the two bands from our half rows and then the two bands from the row before so two from the half and two from both four and it'll be two and two again Same thing on the other side, two and two, and the middle one you'll have the 
two from the half row, and then the two from the row before. And two, and two. So I'm push that all down. Now we're gonna do one more row all the way around. Single band still. We're getting there. Almost done. Just in my mind. You might look at the time and be like, how much time is left? Something like that. Flip the middle two bands on all the pins first. like that. So now what you want to do is come back to all the pins and you want to flip over the bottom two bands from the four below. So take those and flip them up and over. Try and get the bottom two. It's not like the end of the world if it's not quite the bottom two. If you find that now when you come back and you're like, oh, I only have three bands here. Just flip over a couple bands or flip over one band. Um, it's not crucial, crucial. I just want two bands. Squishy. I like that. So now you should have four bands on all your pins. You want to push those down. I'm going to push these towards the center. on the ends. If you want you can try and pull up those bands. It's not a super big deal just so long as you kind of tuck them in on the ends of the pins. So now what we're going to do is two rows all the way around and we're going back to double bands. So two bands this time. We're going to do two rows all the way around. So this will be our first row. like that. Then you'll flip the bottom four bands all the way around. those down. I need to unstick this. There. 
Yeah, it's a little more room. So I'm going to do another row all the way around. It's our second row with the two bands. Bottom four. Push everything down again. Then I'm going to tuck in the bands on the end. Because now we're going to reduce. So starting down here on this pin, I'm going to pick up the top two bands. Mine are coming from the top here. So I'm going to bring them over to the left. Then the other two bands are going to come up a pin. The next spot up, pick up the top two, they're coming from above, so they're going to go below, and the other two are going to go above. Basically, wherever they're coming from, we take them to the opposite pin. So then we come up to the next one, top two are coming from above still, so they go below, others go above. So we're on three pins on the front. Come around to the back side on the top here. They're coming from below. So they're going to come over to the right, which will be above. And then the other two will come down. And then here, top two coming from below. So they're going to go above. Other two will go below. Come down to the next one coming from below, so they go above, the other two will go down. So we're on six pins now. Let's push everything down. Then we're going to do a row all the way around, two bands, and it's kind of long stretches. like that. Then when you flip, you're going to flip over the four reducing bands and then the bottom four bands from the row before. So here's four reducing and the bottom four. And usually once I've passed where this band wraps over, I just pull it over towards the inside. Same on all the pins. Then push them down, and you can kind of unhook this from all the pins. So I'm going to take this off now. I'm going to start on one of the far corners and then work my way around. Um, just kind of make sure that the last couple kind of hold this down towards the loom so they don't come off. Just work my way around. Now 
and two bands pulled through everything that's on my hook. Both ends on, make a slip knot. Hide your band. So now it's going to be kind of squished. So I'm just going to pull down this little leaf. Unsquish the top. And because of how we um, did the increasing, you might have spots where it's kind of like um, little holes or something like that. This one's not too bad, but um, I did pull out a couple bands when I was loosening it up from the loom. But not too bad. But you can just go in there with your hook, kind of pull them back, fix any of those little spots that um, from the increasing we did kind of makes it look um, like there's a hole there. Like I said, this one isn't too bad, so. so then you can just take the leaf, pull it back up a little bit. It's meant to be, or we made it, so that it's kind of taller in the back and then lower in the front. And these side ones here, I just stretch those out really well. Like that. So like that. Super adorable. It's like a little, not kind of a cabbage patch kid. <laughs> I like that. They were cute. But I hope that you enjoyed the little cauliflower. I think that they're cute. Their own little leafy pocket for them. So, But thank you guys so much for watching. If you make these or anything that I've shown you how to make, definitely share them with me on my Instagram, which is at Crafting Fantastic or on my Facebook, which is Feeling Spiffy or Crafting Fantastic. They both should find me. Don't forget to give my videos thumbs up because it helps other people find them. So if you love this stuff, other people will too. So share that with them because that would be awesome. But thanks you guys so much for watching. I will definitely have more for you soon.